up, guys? This is Hans from the Eclectic Podcast, and today we're going to be taking a look at Old Soldiers, TFC 0S-02 Detective. Uh, this is TFC's take on Hound. Real quick, we will take a look at the packaging. Nice kind of uh, gray grid, really kind of basic at the top. Just said, it just says Old Soldiers, OS-02 Detective. On the side, kind of got a nice little uh, shadow printed version of Hound there, or Detective as they call him. Same thing opposite side. On the back, just shows him going in his robot form and in his vehicle form. Bottom of the package, not much, but it does show uh, Iron Will, which is their version of Ironhide. Let's go ahead and let's open this guy up and take a look at what's inside. All right, so here's Detective out of the package. Real quick, we'll take a look at everything that he comes with. Uh, he does actually come with quite a few accessories. Uh, first thing we'll look at, he's got his instructions. Really kind of basic. Um, they don't give you a whole lot of info. Just shows you basically the transformation of him, front and back side. We have a spec card. Not the highest stock quality. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it does come with these little accessories of uh, axe and a shovel for alt mode, which I thought was a really nice touch. We get a nice, uh, nice chromed out pistol here. Looks really good. Not bad at all. We do get a rocket launcher, which does fire. Fires with some force. Kind of a nice little touch. And then you also get this gas can, which does its own transformation. Um, you can go ahead and you can fold it out here. Plug that into there. Flip this up. Flip that out. And then flip out that, and it becomes another gun form. Kind of a nice little touch. I thought that was kind of cool. Clever use of a, an accessory. It's got that nice silver paint on it. Let's go ahead and let's take a close up of the figure here. Um, I apologize. The rest of this video, the file was corrupted. I did a full on taping of this figure. The file's corrupted. The figure itself is such garbage and crap that I, I, I just don't, it's not worth it to me. Not worth it to take the time to set it up. Uh, you continue watching. I've got some other little zooms and pans that I can I can show you of the figure kind of completed in robot form. Alt mode. But yeah, I'm not filming that again. This figure's a pass all the way around. He's got horrible plastic quality. Not a masterpiece by any stretch of the imagination. All around, he's just a really, really poorly made, poorly done figure. Normally, just to show you kind of how bad this figure is to me. Normally, if I don't like a figure, I'll sell it on eBay. Recoup some of my money, right? This one? No. I'm not even going to sell it on eBay. I'm not going to pass this off to somebody else. So, anyways, thank you for watching. And if you want to see more, I mean, continue watching. I'll show you a little bit more on here. Peace out, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>
I, I don't recommend him. There's going to be other options out there. Make Toys uh, has come out with a uh, hound figure, and so has well, Fans Toys is in the works of making one. So, yeah, I just I can't wholeheartedly recommend this guy. He doesn't look right. He doesn't feel right. He feels really cheap. Just I'm not impressed with him at all. I think there's some design cues that are really cool. I like the accessories, like the little shovel and the axe, uh, the gas can that transforms, but. Overall, no, I really don't recommend this guy at all. He's way too big. He doesn't scale well. He feels cheap. Anyways, guys, um, yeah, I don't have much else I can say. Uh, if you really like this figure, uh, leave him in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about him. Um, I just, personally, not for me. Not at all. Uh, add this back on here. Here. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Peace out, and we will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>